So last week we broke down Stokely and Tank's clip from the R and but uh what? Last week we broke down Stokely and Tank's clip from Last week we broke down Stokely and Tank's What is your top five clip from the R and B Money Podcast? Today I want to take the time to break down this clip that I grabbed from Fred Hammond's story. It seems like Fred is currently scoring a Nigerian gospel movie of some sort. And he shares some things, and I want to show this clip right here. First of all, I do not know what in the world Fred Hammond was saying right there. I don't. I can't translate it. I don't understand it. But the whole point of this, right, is like, even with last week's clip, it was just two guys just fooling around, BSing, right? But it was beautiful to me. And it's like, same case here. I don't understand anything that Fred was saying in that clip that you see there. But it when I first heard it, I wanted to know everything about it. The project, what is this movie? What is it that he's scoring? And what is like the everything behind it? And man, just hearing that's that piece right there it just moved my soul it touched my spirit and like i had to talk about it and fred is one of the heroes i mean it's funny because in, in one of these clips he says that you know he, he he what he did vocally you know layering the harmonies and stuff like this for example <laughs> Like, that's the Fred Hammond I grew up listening to. That part right there, that little. I grew up listening to Commission. So when I heard stuff like this so sweet and those harmonies and hearing Fred go for it vocally on that track, man, it's like he's one of the greatest to me. And I feel like a lot of people should talk about him when it comes to layering, even just something like this right here. He went back to it. Hold on. I don't know what he said. I cannot move past that part. It's just so cold. that's a guitar but it's just the way the piano and the guitar and a little bit of the bass kind of like morph into each other like they Fred was locked. 
did when he did this, boy. He was locked in. I think other people are gonna come in and add their parts. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, there's no disrespect, no shade to nobody, but what Fred did on that alone, that's gonna be tough to follow. I gotta keep it real. <laughs> that's all I have to say for now. I wanna continue to do content like this because there's so much dope things out there and I just feel like it needs to be talked about more often and that's simply what all I, I just want to do on this platform and y'all rock with me and roll with it so yeah you know until next time thank you for watching if you made it this far again so much love to you God bless you peace